but uh, okay, cool. Uh, Nine forty-two di string match. Given a string s that only contains i or d, let n is equal to the length of the string. Return any permutation a of uh, just some way such that for or i what? If s sub i is equal to i, then or yeah, s sub i is equal to i, then then the next character is bigger. If not, then if it's d, then it's smaller. Okay. Uh, oh, and they all have to be between zero and n, and ten thousand. Okay. Uh, hmm. And I suspect there's some sort of greedy. Uh, that is if you add a D at the end, for example. Add a D, then this adds, so this is 4 and a 3, maybe? Okay. Yeah, I think it's just greedy, right? You just. You have numbers from the top and the bottom, or or whatever, or one and the end, and then just kind of keep adding them depending if you get an I or D. That's my guess, and I'm quite aware of it. Uh, head or tail, why not? And Uh, oh, okay. That should be okay. I missed the comments about it. Or number. Okay, guys, so why don't I. Right, maybe if you start with slow. Oh, well, that's fine. I think they should be both the same number, the head and the tail. Matter. Oh yeah. Finally learned how to use this diff thing. You just click on it. I actually did not learn know that for a couple of months, so you may laugh. Uh <laughs> I mean I'm laughing, so it's fine. Mm. Okay, maybe it's a couple more. Okay. Yeah, cool. Go for it. Cool. Uh, okay. Huh. I don't think I articulate my thoughts on this one very well, to be honest. I just kind of went for a couple of things. Uh, but I guess most of it, most of what I thought was just that, and some of that is kind of meta, to be honest, which is a little unfortunate. Uh, in that, like, if you label this as medium, maybe I would have thought a little bit harder about how greedy could be wrong, maybe. Yeah, so I don't know if I kind of have better cheated that way if that makes sense um but i think some of that was like because it's easy that's one and then you look at the constraint and n is you know ten thousand so you know it's gonna be probably all of n uh maybe or n log n but like this doesn't seem like an n log n type problem but maybe some kind of longest increasing subsequence type thing then it would be n log n but again it's easy so so i figured probably all it's all of n um and it's kind of weird that so much of this is kind of a little bit meta e but um so once that is greedy, I just figured like, well, I don't know. I don't know how I came upon it to be honest. I just thought, well, it's greedy. Then maybe on every uh, decreasing, then you know that you want it to be as big as possible, because then it doesn't matter 
what the sequence is like um, because if it's increasing and you take the smallest number then you, you could essentially ignore it from the rest of sequence right like uh, uh, you almost like almost like a recursive e thing type thing where you chop like the sub uh, the subsequence will be also good so I think that's I guess that's why the greedy works and I'm kind of proving it ish uh, verbally now but uh, for, for example you'll get the same answer offset by one number if you take the substring which is just DID and so forth I think that's how I kind of have an intuition for it I don't uh, if I was in an interview I probably would, would try to explain that a little bit better uh, probably would be way slower in an interview because I think I wouldn't have oh excuse me because I I also knew that this would take like I don't know a minute to write uh, so that I could kind of test my hypothesis really quickly uh, which is like trying to prove everything through uh, which on an interview you you know it's harder to do that and have to be confident uh, uh, about you um, uh, at least until like you really surprise them and you're like oh yeah this actually works really well. so, um, but yeah uh, eh. I, I mean I, I've I've had a rant about in, uh, greedy solutions on interview problems before and this is kind of I don't think this is a, an exception uh, I think some of that is that uh, well the code is really short so you know it's not enough like and it helps disproportionate what people have seen it and greedy also has this like weird um, uh, uh, I forget how I describe it but it's like a weird like maybe like curve uh, unless you're really confident where like uh, the people who are very good and already already seen this problem they would get it very quickly and the people who are maybe not as strong but doesn't know anything you know like they only believe in greedy uh, or like you know they they uh, uh, believe in greedy so they just submit a greedy solution and hope that's right where um, ah yeah I, I need to read up what that means but, uh, but I feel like for me like um, for me, and maybe other people around my skill level, which is a lot, uh, I think the thing is that like I feel like I, every time I do, I assume something is greedy, I get burned. <laughs> like I'm like, oh, actually, now it's dynamic programming. And so, <laughs> and so therefore, like every time I, I see something that I think is greedy, I'm like very suspicious. And then it actually takes me longer than someone who might not, you know, think it's dynamic programming. So but I don't know if that makes sense. That's my logic anyway. Uh, but yeah, uh, yeah, I mean, I think... Yeah, you just have to prove the, uh, what's it called, the, uh, uh, just, you know, but I, I feel like I am not, that, maybe that's just one of my weaknesses, maybe I should practice that more, but, uh, but that's harder to practice sometimes because, uh, like, if I look at a list of greedy solutions, then I just know it's greedy, right, or, like, greedy prompts, then I know it's greedy, so then it's hard to kind of test for that, with, like, dynamic program, for example, I could still practice it because, knowing something is a dynamic programming solution is not good enough you still have to figure out how to uh, you know how to draw the dependencies right for example and how to program it if you will uh, in the right order um, which is also like not the same for every problem uh, but yeah um, I don't know how I feel about this as a new question I think I hope that uh, 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 I eventually get it about get this as a new question uh, th I feel like this is also one of those problems where like yeah okay you saw me and I did it in a couple of minutes but like you give me another day where I don't know maybe I I don't know ate a little bit too much for lunch and maybe a little bit you know less optimal for and maybe I just don't get it and that's something that I'm aware of of myself which is a little unfortunate but but um so yeah but it is still easy and a lot of people like it so maybe there's a, a easy discussion greedy thing there but uh all right cool uh i think that's what i'm gonna say about that one so and i well and like it's like five lines of code so there's really not much to uh clean up the code and also i forgot to talk about complexity which is clearly off and and off and in terms of uh, uh return space uh, because that's output sensitive so you have to be off and so you can't do better than that uh, but all one extra space on top of the output sensitive uh, uh, complexity. Uh, 